All righty. Well, there's a big pet adoption event coming up this weekend. It involves furry beasts and seniors. And here to tell me more about it is Sherry Carter from the Morning Point Assisted Living Facility. Sherry, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Our pleasure. And, and let's just go ahead and get right to it. This is, I think this is going to be really cute because you're bringing uh, dogs and cats that, yep. need, that need a home. Uh, out to see some seniors who need some company and then people can come and visit both and, and adopt. Is that what's going on? Yes, um, we want, there, because of the tornado there's so many pets that got displaced, they lost their homes, they don't have homes to go back to so we're having the pet adoption in hopes that uh, we can find them loving homes and our residents get to enjoy them. There you short, are. Yeah. And, and will the seniors be able to, to uh, actually help with, with handling the animals yes. and showing them to people? And yeah, stuff we're going like to have that. them involved. Uh, it will be inside where it's cool. Um, so anybody that wants to come out, um, you won't have to worry about being outside in this hot weather. The pets will be in there, and we're going to have refreshments for everybody. And it's Saturday morning. Correct. From 10 to 2. From 10 o'clock until 2. And it will be inside. It'll be inside. So you can stay inside, enjoy the air conditioning, and, and meet some people and, and see some great animals. And hopefully take a pet home. There you are. Uh, let's talk a little bit about when, uh, over at Morning Point, when the seniors, when they, they get to have an opportunity to be around animals and, and when people come in that aren't usually there, that's, that's pretty good for them. Talk about that. Oh, they love to be around people. Um, they love to, to visit with everybody. I mean, it just brightens up their whole day. And then when you bring the dog in, I mean, it's just, their faces light up like you wouldn't believe. Um, uh, most of them had pets when they were at home. Um, they don't now because um, it's so hard to take care of them. So they enjoy it so much. It's, it's a very special time for them. Yes. Uh, and let's talk a little bit about the animals that will be there. Now, are these animals specifically ones that, that are survivors of the storm and they had a, a, a home before and now they're homeless because of what happened with the tornado? They used to be yeah. someone's pet, correct? For the most part, most of them are. I mean, they were somebody's pet. I mean, I can only imagine what these animals went through. A lot of them died um, during the tornado. And then to be snatched away from your home and your family. I mean, it's in, put in a cage. I mean, they've got to be scared to death. And they're ready to find a good home. Yeah. All right, well, Sherry, well, best of luck to you guys with the event this weekend. Thank it's, you. it's a great one. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being with us today and telling us about Thank it. Thank you for having me. Yes, ma'am. All right, remember, you can find out more about adopting a pet online at MetroAnimalShelter.org, or you can call them at 205-752-9101. And don't forget, the adoption event is this weekend. It's Saturday morning at the Morning Point Assisted Living Facility. That's August the 13th at 10 a.m. Goes until 2 in the afternoon. For more information, you can call 205-345. 51112 or you can check them out online at morningpoint.com.